In Godot, load and preload can be used to load resources into your project. Both of them bring assets like scenes or textures into your game's memory, but they differ in how and when they load these resources. When Godot parses a GD script containing preload, it fetches the specified resource into memory. This happens before the game fully starts, so it can increase the project's startup time. Preload requires the path of the resource to be a constant string and not a dynamic one. Preload also gives us the advantage of auto-completion in the editor, which is great for development. Load fetches the resources when the line of code runs at runtime, so it saves memory by only loading resources when needed. Load can cause a small pause in the game while the resource is being loaded, because it fetches the resource when the game is running. In that case, you may want to consider background loading. In conclusion, you typically want to use preload for essential resources. These resources should be small to save startup time and memory. Load should be used for large, optional, or dynamic resources, like game levels. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.